Hey guys, Peter Obi and Atiku Abubakar sent strong warning as witches made explosive statements on Tinubu's inauguration. This will shock you. A fresh development has emerged, prior to the eagerly anticipated and contention swearing in ceremony on May 29. Note that the presidential candidates of the main opposition party, Dr. Peter Obi of the Labour Party and Alaji Atiku Abubaka of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, have both submitted their petitions to presidential election tribunal targeted at disqualifying the president-elect from the February 25th presidential polls. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you for always coming out here. If you are just joining us, please kindly subscribe to this channel. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Nigerians, Atiku Abubaka and Peter Obi have sent a very strong warning to Nigerian witches. A fresh development has emerged period to the eagerly anticipated and contentious swearing in ceremony on May 29. Note that the presidential candidates of the main opposition parties, Peter Obi, the Labour Party, Candidates and Alaji Atiku Abubaka, the People's Democratic Party PDP candidate, have both submitted their petitions to presidential election tribunal targeted at disqualifying the president elect from the February 25th presidential polls. However, the French development reveals that the White Witches and Wizard Association of Nigeria has pleaded with the resentful politicians not to twap Asiwe Jubola Metinubu's inauguration as president-elect on May 29 at Eagle Square in Abuja. The witches' organization added that they are dissatisfied with how politicians have behaved since Tinubu was named the veto of the February 25th presidential election and said that he will be given assets to no less than 300 witches and wizards to protect him from danger. The group spokesperson, Dr. Ibio, told news reporters in Calabar that they care about and will defend the nation's unity. He stated, We welcome Tinubu back to the country. Record that Tinubu emerged the winner at our group spiritual presidential election held about two months ago before the the February 25th presidential election. Now, we have reviewed the volatile development in the country. We urge the aggrieved parties to give peace a chance because resorting to self-help will do more harm than good to the polity. There is no reason for Tinubu to be afraid because all the campaigners of mounted against him um, made distract distractions we are currently cleaning and the justifying the abuja environment where tunubu will operate from what tunubu needs now is prayers of good health and long life from all nigerians so he could deliver on his renowned hope promise for better life for all Remember how Chief Iboy, the spokesperson for the White Witches and Wizard Association of Nigeria, stated there was nothing wrong with the Muslim Muslim presidential and vice presidential presidential ticket of the All Progressive Congress APC in the 2023 election before the election, specifically last August. This is in keeping with his vow that the association will shortly announce the future president of Nigeria. Iboi observed that the same faith candidacy has never been a problem in leadership while addressing newsmen in Lagos. Iboi responded while asked if Tinubu would win the election. Tinubu is not just an ordinary man, he is a man who sees beyond his nose. When he sleeps, he will be told what to do and how to go about what he set out to do. I would not be surprised if he was told what to do before 
settling down on his choice of running mate. In a more recent related development, his eminence Oliver Ali Abba, prelate of the Methodist Church of Nigeria, alike Nigerians concerned about anything outwarded occurring in the political system during the anticipated presidential inauguration on May 29, 2023, and he urged the people to think favorably of their nation. Speaking on Tuesday, on Thursday at the opening of the new Methodist Diocese of Oka and the installation of Reverend Onyeka Wankama as the bishop, Abba urged people to work together to create a prosperous nation because Nigerians cannot afford for its political divisions to cause it to fall apart. So there is witches and wizards in Nigeria, and enemies of Nigeria have been killing people on a daily basis. Is it that they are not aware? Hey, they are even the worst enemies, according to the scripture spoken by Jesus himself. The earth and its fullness is of the Lord, who also rules the affairs of men. Witches and wizards have no power when the Lord is in charge. I declare all witches and wizards silent, and in all they are gathering together, they shall fall in Jesus' name. The gate of hell cannot prevail, the gate of heaven. The Lord God Almighty says, Suffer not the witch to live, and now witches are coming our openly to challenge and issuing warning against the Lord Jesus Christ and his people. I see all going down in Jesus' almighty name. Amen, amen, and amen. Let their altars, their coven seek and drink their own blood in Jesus' name. Christ's almighty name, amen. And amen. They will not see that throne because he is the Lord and because this is the generations of them that seek the Lord. So the battle is of the Lord. Okay, guys. These are reactions, you know, from Nigerians. What's your take on this? Please kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you for all his coming.